Hey, my name is Star. I'm one of the fools in Three Fools Gaming. I have a little bone to pick with the slender thing. Yeah, it's scary. Yeah, that's really me screaming. That's not me just screaming just for the video. That is my natural reaction to any type of scariness. Which makes me kind of a little bitch, but that's just me. At least gaming-wise. Outside of that, I am kind of brutal, but since the gaming and horror and all the other stuff, well, that's, that's a different person. Anyway, after watching all the scenarios and watching all games in general, I started to realize that when I watch these games, like, I, I feel that they always make the main main character that you play without the camera the weakest person ever this is person that has zero skills and no skills his only skill i can't even say run i, I can't even say run because when he runs he he um he it, it, it's like there are no words for his running Look, I do love horror games. I love everything that has to do with horror. I love dark themes. I love action. I love fighting games. Everything to do with this, to do with games, pretty much. But when it comes to horror games, I feel everything is more cliche than it really needs to be. Like, for instance, when I played the Slenderman thing, I walk, I walk out of a car. I guess it broke down. I walk down a pathway, and then I see a house. I open the house, and I see all this drawings and things all around and writing. And a normal person would not just look at everything and say, huh, let me investigate. Let me keep going through. No, the normal person, and here is my tip, number one, the normal person will go back to the car, call somebody, get a signal, get help, anything. Just don't stay there. It's really stupid. It's ridiculous. I mean, every time I see it, it's like, uh-huh, yeah, okay, so, so you are that dumb. You, you really, really are that dumb. So, pretty much when you look at the drawings, isn't that like a red flag in somebody's head and it's like, you know what? I think I should go. <laughs> Time to go. OnStar, something, smoke signal, anything at this point. Because if you really want to walk into there, well, this is going to happen. Oh my God! Don't get me wrong, I do enjoy camping and hiking and fishing and all this stuff that has to do with the outdoors because that's the type of person I am. But when I start to see things like signs that are saying, oh, I see you, the hill, you know, hills have eyes kind of stuff, you know, I can see you peeing, whatever, anything that has to do with that. The camp, the camp trip is over. I'm sorry. I pack it up, go home, call it a day because at this point, someone is creeping the hell out of me and it, the comfort level has just reached a dramatic, dramatic level low honestly in this day and age i think anything could be used as a freaking weapon so i'm just done i go home i don't care but let's say we are the brave ones let's say we are that brave and says you know what i'm gonna stand up for myself whoever's gonna come at me i'm gonna come at them right th right back i'm gonna hit them beat the hell out of them doesn't care okay but let's say you're this particular person in this game you have a camcorder and have no no fighting skills whatsoever. I mean, hell, you don't even know how to throw a punch. The only thing you know how to do is jog away. I can't say run because running actually requires, I mean, you fly in one direction. This particular person does not fly anywhere. He just gra uh, gradually just goes in another way. Just, dun, 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 dun. oh, there's someone chasing me. Let me go and speed walk. I mean, I, I wish there was just another way that this could be more realistic, but <sighs> but whatever. At this point, to number two, run. Just 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 run away. Not 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 run into the investigation. Run away from the investigation. At this point, you need to run and go away. Just just go, just go. Because 
honestly, you continuing to do all of this will result in this. Oh my god! I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Dark warehouse. And you want to go in? This is what a question too. I just, I can't, I... <sighs> I mean, what is the real logic behind doing that? I, I mean, if you're a ghost hunter, fine. I mean, ugh, all that is on you. But honestly, I can't. Like, if there is really no way, I mean, if there's like a million dollars hidden there, I'll think about it, honestly. I, I can't say yes or no, because when you think about it, you have to, especially when you know something's going down, especially when you start hearing noises and growling and clawing out. And then the fact that, Okay, now I see some freaking demonic looking female scratching and clawing my face. I, I you're still gonna stay there? You're still gonna just I, I can't. I mean, you see the person coming, you see them clawing. It, it doesn't something in your mind just say, I want to go home. I, I, I want to go home. No, it was a thing in your mind says, I need to keep going with this investigation because that is my job. I mean, especially when you know this freaking demonic like, looking, uh, I just don't know. It's, uh. But honestly, if you don't follow those tips or the tip I just told you, this is going to happen. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> but honestly, I still love this game. Like, subscribe, comment, suggest a game, add me on Twitter, check out the blog. Be a fool today.